Hello everyone, today we are finally doing a new video and this will be about the new upgrades to my Minecraft world. So let's get right into it and I'm talking very fast right now because we are in a tent situation and as you can see I've gone from riches to rags instead of rags to riches. And also we've gotten ourselves a problem right off the bat because our hunger ran out in the middle of the elevator. So now we are just going to have to hope that we make it. And instantly, oh dear. You can see one of the improvements made to this area. And I've put glass to make it look incredible. The area looks more like a map. It's like having a map, an interactive map underneath your feet. You can see where you're standing the true scale of how high up you are. You can see the incredibly light pyramid. You can see civilization. You can see everything. But that's not the best part. Oh no. The best part is waiting for us here. So the Salmon by Botanical Gardens finally expanded a bit and I don't know how to grow this. So if you know how, please inform me about it in the comments. But I made artificial islands. On these artificial islands, things spawn, and I'm able to kill them without them being able to notice me. So for example, we've got arrow there, right? We are going to take precision, and we did some damage. Was that the only arrow I had? I see. But still, this is not the only way to do things here. We also have snowballs, which are definitely the more fun medium to use. You just pelt them at the mob and hope they hit. And I have a lot of these, so I can afford to make mistakes. Yes, I got it. Now, here's the real enemy. Arrow. Ah, uh, misses. And I also have eggs, and I'm sure the eggs do damage. So... Yes. Yes! That is how it's done, guys. And now I'm going to populate that with baby chickens. Let's see how many we get. Not a single one out of many eggs. But as you can see, this is not the only artificial island I've made. If you can see, farther off, oh, two chickens. So further off, I have an island called, L L L I don't know what to call it. Let's call it Valkyrie Island. And the island that I am pelting eggs at is Luinor Island. Yes. Yes. That's enough. Mischief. Oh, wow, I'm... Ah, <laughs> you see, the poor man never forgets his poor man actions. Wow, we are now just going to make a jump and we're going to survive. Yes, that's how it's done. And this is not all, if you're thinking this is all. That's not all I have to offer to you guys. There's still more than these majestic islands that took me hours to make. So let us take some rest and I will show you something very cool. So you guys might have seen a giant dirt mound. Oh wait, I had an arrow, but it was in the crossbow. No. I'm a little bit surprised that even though I knocked off the skeleton, its remains have not fallen off. But no worries, guys. Let's go to this ominous building here. This ominous building is actually not a library, because libraries look a little bit like this. Tell me that they don't. <laughs> this is my mines that I showed you ages ago. I've expanded it in quite a few ways at this point. 
and this has improved along with its looks it's more than just a hole in the ground now and this is just the skeleton like the palm alchemar had a skeleton this is just the skeleton we are going to make this place look incredibly high tech just like everything else here and eagle-eyed viewers tell me what can you see over here what seems different well i'll tell you now there used to be a giant depression or a hole here and it is now covered so it looks much better i'm sure we can all agree now that i've covered it so even though my hunger is running out i will carry on like this because there's not much left to cover anyway so we're gonna go through it quickly oh potato yeah and this very yummy mm. spider so we're gonna go ahead and eat this i mean at least you get some health right <laughs> so we're gonna go with this up in my turret you guys might know i used to make turrets all the time i'm now an expert because that was what my old civilization was built off of but now we have this glass pane of knowledge which if you look through i can see the ocean beds and things so i can see everything from clay patches and everything so that i know what i'm doing and this is a really cool trick that i'd advise you guys doing and also if you guys are on bedrock i think this is a bedrock only thing oops you can pose the armor stand i can't remember how i was doing it anymore you did something like this and then well you can pose the armor stand there you go guys and that should be everything you guys may also want to mourn the death of the villager that i brought in you know that villager who used to live over there he got zombified and he died i have the footage as well well apart from condolences of him i hope that you guys had an incredibly fun experience checking out what i had to show today please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I want to end the video on the best terms possible. And what is better than to stand tall in front of your base like this? And you can even see the sky base and the artificial islands from there. So once again, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.